Let's see if it works. It technically did. I may have forgotten to swap over to uh, Terraria. Just that one. I still have it on Thursday. I still have it. There we go. All right, that's not even OBS's fault. That's just my fault. But hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome back to some more Terraria and our Crumble Edition. Where last time we left off, we were sitting and laughing about the new updates uh, that they're adding in 1.4.5. That's all I remember from last time, I'll be entirely honest with you. Or what was up? Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was watching a Minecraft video. We started streaming, by the way. I see. Hmm. Listen, alright? Minecraft uploaded a video that says featuring Grant. I wanted to watch the funny video. I'm just gonna get started. Alright, so today <laughs> we've got... We are actually quite close to having... Everything we need for one Ox Shield. Don't forget to join Blue Team. Uh, Thank you. So we need two more Nazars. Oh, uh, I remember what we were doing last time. Yeah, I think you were heading back to the dungeon if, if that, from what you said last time. Yeah, uh, so that you can uh, have mm -hmm. more entertaining content for stream. We still have to grind for other things. So that might be what I go do while going and collecting. I might go head to the jungle to try and get the bezoar and also collect more life fruit. Gotcha. And then we need a and the you know, once we have two Nazars, two bezoars, we need another fast clock and we need another trifold map. And then we will have everything for both of us to have an ox shield. And nice. then wait, yeah. wait, so I'm getting a what in Green. the uh, in this bundle? Nazars, which is the blue, like, bracelet thingy. Got this. So I need two of those, right? Yes. Alright. Which you... should have the, uh... You know, like, the whole setup over there. I didn't take that down, I believe. I mean, I could just check on the map, technically. Yeah, everything's still there from the Garden Gnome to the Water Candle. Alright, let's see if I can remember where. I mean, it's on the map. I can also ping it on the map. You can ping? Yeah, you double tap. Watch, I'll do it right now. Oh, would you look at that? You can ping. Uh, <laughs> uh, you are at 475, right? For your health at the moment, like max health? Yes, that All is right. correct. Alright, so we need... Blue. What's up? Yeah. I was just checking if I joined blue. Yeah, I think it's just we've gotten far enough away from each other where it's not going to tell us where the other person is. Gotcha. But yeah, uh, so I need to get 11 life roots, and I need to get two bezoars. Cole's going to be getting the two Nazars, which works for them because they can literally just sit around. And yeah. if you want to do anything else, feel free to. Uh <laughs> I hope I'm just like... I can finish up watching that Minecraft video, no <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, because I do technically have something to talk about. Uh, for people who might watch the video, but don't read the, uh... Read the, uh, YouTube post. Because I... Because between last week and this week, uh, I have actually changed what the YouTube schedule is going to be. It, or not the not the YouTube schedule, the stream schedule. YouTube schedule is still. I try to upload the video when, like, as soon as we're done recording it or streaming it. Uh, I know I'm not. I haven't been the best with that. I've kind of forgotten <laughs> a few times. Uh, speaking of which, I do actually need to do one thing because I forgot to update the schedule on. Uh, Twitch. It, gotcha. It's still on the week of May twentieth currently. 
which I'm going to let you know this now. It's not May 20th. It's not? No, believe it or not. Oh. oh. <clears throat> okay, let me do this before I get killed by a giant tortoise. <laughs> Alright, let me just open that up. Do you know if uh, drivers were, in, were uh, released today? No, I d don't really look at that, that too often. Well, I just didn't know if you got the pop-up or not. No, I haven't got a pop-up either. Gotcha. I was just asking because my uh, my my game was chugging a little bit, and that's concerning because it's literally just Terraria. Hmm. All right, but I'm a. Uh... See. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a drivers. There is. Yeah. How did this happen? <laughs> what? What has happened? Do you want to explain? Currently breaking. One second. Well, what cool's doing that? I guess I can talk about what I was going to talk about now. I'm gonna share my screen really quick. All right. And just show how confused I currently am. I don't know how I've done this. Give me like one second not to be dying, or be in possibility of dying. All right, what you got for me? I can't move the window. Oh, huh. <laughs> it's, it's currently stuck on my second monitor, which is a vertical monitor. I see. Yeah, okay, I, I gotta stop streaming because I think it's making the game tell you a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Never mind. But, uh, okay. Anything else? You want to break anything else before I start talking? Preferably not. Um, but we'll see. Gotcha. But, for people who haven't read or don't get, like, the uh, YouTube community post, I am changing up the schedule a little bit, uh, because we ended up finishing Islets last week. So, it just seemed... And the thing is, I don't really have any games I would consider short, I don't think. I'm not too sure. So, because of that, I thought, instead of having a game series on Tuesday and a quote-unquote variety day uh video on thursdays that we could go ahead and do multiple series at the same time now don't get me wrong uh the streams are going to be tuesdays and thursdays probably the same time but instead of us doing a variety day stream uh, we will be taking Thursday and turning it into another series. In addition, I'm not going to have just two series going on at the same time. I'm going to have four, and that might end up being a horrible idea, but I'm willing to test the water with it. Basically, we'll have week A and week B. Week A will have two different series, uh, one on Tuesday one on Thursday. And week B will also have two different series on Tuesday and Thursday. Are you, are you still here? Yeah, I got frustrated, so I'm just restarting my game. Gotcha. Be like, I it, it was I literally just couldn't move it at all. I really hope it's not stuck there now. I see. Okay, no, was good. I was wondering. Uh, I was honestly wondering if your computer crashed. Nope. Just didn't want to say anything because you were talking. No, that's fair. I appreciate that. But yeah, uh, so, yeah, that's kind of, that's the gist of it. We'll have four games going on at the same time, uh, or at least concurrently, not at the same time, because I don't stream four days a week. Even though I have been told that would be a better idea, I just don't have the time to do so. Or, nor do I think I have the, uh, mental fortitude to do it. 
I used to be able to stream. I actually used to stream uh, five days a week uh, for three hours at a time. But uh, yeah, no. So that that's the plan. Uh, I hope we'll, we'll see how it works out. If it doesn't work out, uh, we'll figure out how to do how to finish all four games. If I decide to finish all four games. Other than that, no, that's about it. I'm currently running through the uh, the snow biome while there's, while there's a blizzard. Wish me luck. Wait a second, there's a... Wish you luck for what? Oh, I don't spawn in. It only spawns in at midnight. You're past midnight already. Oh, gotcha. Alright, that's so I'm getting to be here. I am going the ice golem real quick. All right, fair enough. You might actually get a. I don't know if it's better or worse than the tired bee wings, but you might get a frost feather. Hey, look at that! I got an ice feather. Ice feather, right? Just call the frost core and then an ice feather. Yep. Um. I would look it up, but I'm scared. Why? I I, I don't want my terrain to break again. Oh, you know what? That's fair. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and craft them. We should have enough material for it. Yeah. Alrighty. And if and if they aren't better, then um, Do you want me I'm to gonna put them in my vanity slot. What's up? Well, I mean, if you're just gonna use them anyway, I'll look it up. I was asking if you wanted me to look them up. Uh, I mean, if you want to, you can, but I don't wanna. Uh. Pause your, your game on your end. I mean, it's fine. Nothing, nothing new. I used to do that a lot. Alrighty. I mean, for sure. Yeah. Just give me like a moment to get into a spot where I won't be fighting for my life. I am. So, I am still gonna craft them anyways. However, I do think that it probably would be difficult to tell. Gotcha. I can craft a pink dungeon toilet. Good for you. Okay, we're gonna do that. There used to be a list here. That's why. All right, so uh, you have the tattered bee wings, if I remember correctly, or just the bee uh, wings. Warding bee wings, yeah. Uh, so, 2.6, and 38. 2.17, 67, 34. So, the frozen wings are actually worse. Gotcha. And the butterfly dust that I just got is literally the exact same. Gotcha. As the, um... As the, uh, tattered bee wing. Gotcha. I, I swear I've gotten the butterfly dust. I could also just be completely in pain. You could be a beautiful butterfly. Oh. I mean, souls of, souls of Flight aren't gonna, isn't anything that we can be blocked off from, right? No, because that just requires space. Space exists everywhere. I, yeah, I didn't think so, but I also... Some things in this game can catch me off guard, so... That's fair. Right, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it anyways. And, uh, just... Plop it into my, uh, vanity slot. Now I'm finally heading back over to the dungeon. That was an accident. I'm kind of glad I wasn't over there. What's up? I may have blew something up by accident. Gotcha. Because I didn't see the, uh... 
I didn't see the detonator and I stepped on it. <laughs> it was dark on underwater. <laughs> it's dark. Also, what are the frost cores used for? Uh, armor. Alright. And also, I'm guessing we're probably past it. After yeah, armor. that was like... That it was armor, it's melee and ranged armor, uh, that's combined with uh, either adamantite or uh, titanium, whichever one your world has. Oh, hey, look at that! I've killed three ice golems and gotten two ice feathers. I think I it's swear, a... I what's up? I, th I thought it was only a 50% chance. Oh, is it? I might be wrong. I could have swore that I remember you, you and I grinding for a long for that. I mean, I could technically look it up if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Just to satisfy curiosity. I, I know mean, you a little too do well. That. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to stop you if you do decide to look it up. However, I'm also not going to... Okay, you, you're looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I can literally just click Ice Feather from here. Yeah, it's one in three chance, so... Gotcha. You also got a Nimbus Rod. That's rare. That's a one in 25, I think. I've killed like two of those things today. Alright. And. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, is the Mimbus Rod? Oh no, it's a magic thing. Alright. Oh, you thought it was Summoner? Yeah, because in the description of it, it says summons a cloud to rain down on your foes. I mean, it, it is basically a century, because you just sit it down and forget about it. Gotcha. I used to use that in my Summoner playthroughs. I probably still would, but. I don't know. I mean, I might as well use it if it's basically a, a century without taking up a slot. Yeah, and you can place down two. It's not just one. Oh, dang. You know, that's super nice. All right. I gotta start using my centuries more anyways. Uh, because on occasion, whenever I do remember to put them down, they're actually quite helpful. <laughs> This game is, uh, like, so much better once you have, uh, wings to traverse the wor world or easier. Yeah. Just, be just because it's, like, World of Saints is like, alright, I don't mind going to the location and, and grinding out. It's mainly just getting from point A to point B. I miss the world I used to have that, basically, I had so many farms on a world. Is this is at before my solid state drive got corrupted? Oh, it got snapped. Yes. Gotcha. I did, to be fair, I just it, it wasn't. I didn't say the solid. So I guess it technically did get snapped. Kind of like ha have my solid state drive uh, storage. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And yeah. also, that that reminds me that I probably should get a a. a, a Another drive and back up a bunch of stuff that I would be absolutely destroyed if I lost. Not a bad idea. So we've only got four more bosses, I think. I can't even remember if uh, three, either three or four more bosses that's actually going to affect the world. Gotcha. Possibly five, debating on if we if we actually do Queen B. Which honestly, after we do Plantera, I don't see a reason why not to do Queen B. Yeah. Well, actually, there is a reason. That reason being, if we get if Plantera takes out the jungle, then there's no reason to do Queen B because then the Witch Doctor can't move in. Oh, gotcha. I'm gonna hope that Plantera doesn't take out the jungle. That's gonna take up a lot of the stream. 
Because it's not like, it's not... What take... Queen Bee also takes up the jungle? You mean... Insta you mean not also, just instead? Yeah. Uh, I... Yeah, we take like two, two more chances uh, before I can get the, the, uh, the armor, the Tiki armor. Yeah, and to be fair, I, that's why I was talking about... You technically do have a backup for the Tiki armor, which would be the spooky armor. But basically what we're just praying for is that we don't land on dungeon and then jungle. Preferably, yeah. prefer, preferably we just don't land on the jungle in general, but if we land on the jungle, we want to land, we don't want to land on the dungeon because then you are legitimately just screwed out of a good summoner set. Gotcha. And whether or not you stick with summoner is entirely up to you, but just know that we can't really fix the uh, problem. Gotcha. I am down in the underworld. Yay? That, that That's just how far I've been going. Like, I've just been moving, talking, and grinding enemies. Look, I've been looking for life roots. I found five, actually, so I'm halfway there for the rest of it. Oh, that's good. I, I actually technically found six. Uh, I just used one to uh, to make both you and I have the same amount of health. Or max health, at least. Gotcha. So that means... That once I'm done here, we can just start grinding for... Uh, Onk Shield components, which... I kind of wish there was an easier... There probably is easier things to grab. Actually, I don't know about the uh, map and the fast clock. Because the fast clock is race... Uh, now, where are the other ones? It's race the pixies, which we don't have anymore. I feel like there's something else I just can't remember off the top of my head. Yes, I could look it up right now, but... I don't see a reason to, just because I know I'm going to be... grinding here anyway for a little, uh, for longer, because I need to find other things here anyway. Uh, the map, though, I know is from Bats, uh, as well as, I forgot what they're called, the Clowns. Mm. So, that's kind of, I'm actually really curious now, give me a second, we're, sorry, uh, stream, you're getting me looking up a lot of things because it's been I don't do this as often anymore uh yeah so the fast clock is gotten from mummy's race and pixies the only thing we can get consistently is the race because we don't have a desert we don't have a hollowed and then the trifle map is clowns, light mummies, and giant bats. We can't get light mummies because we don't have hollowed or desert. Uh, so giant bats and clowns are the other way of way of doing it. Gotcha. I do see you up there. There you go. We need four more, four more life fruits. That's all we need, and then you and I will be at max health. And then I just sit and grind for the other components. Ow! I 
mean, I'm also, I'm also looking for an Uzi he's still here. But that's honestly, I feel like I can get through this with a yo-yo at this rate. I mean, do you think that it would be a an alright idea to uh um what is it? And bring a shutting off. Uh, to start a start a blood moon, just so that we can get higher spawn rates. Uh, I mean, it would help you. I don't think my spawn rates would change that much, and I realize that also might be the reason you're not getting that many spawn rates. Yeah, that's fine. Because the thing is, like, there is actually a cap on the amount of enemies in the world. I mean, this is. They're they're slow by any means right now. Yeah, I mean we could definitely try. I just don't think it's going to be as much as you may think. Not fair enough. I don't like. I really generally don't think there's going to be a noticeable difference. If there is a difference, it'd be quantitative, but not qua uh, noticeable to the to the human mind. Gotcha. Nope. Yeah, we got one Nazar. Hey, there we go. That there, that there. I forgot that Terraria has loadouts. I do too, actually. You know, I was just thinking about, like, in a solo playthrough of Terraria, if you had, like, just a summoner uh, loadout, it would just be grinding for, yeah, d literally just for grinding. See, what I used to have was I had a uh, building that basically had all the good items for every class just in a room. Like, it was, a, it was a trophy room, but it was also like, oh, here is all the... Here's the setup. Your setup for summoner. Here's your setup for ranger. Here's your setup for... Uh, warrior, mage, and basically any time I was like, well, maybe I want to play mage for a little bit. I would literally just swap, swap it out and then put the other stuff back right back where it was. So whenever I wanted to swap back to it again, I could. That's right. To be fair, that was before loadouts were a thing in this game. I'm old. I'm joking. <laughs> I was to say, by the way, just for night, right? Uh, about a minute ago. Yeah. Um, if you idea. have it, we can try it. Blood Moon. It's like I already know what you're asking, Nikki. What you do? Yeah, it's almost like I've known you for a few years now. That's weird. What, the fact that I've known you for a few years, or just the fact, the fact that it's been a few years? The fact that it's been a few years. It was the fact that you've known me now, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can believe that. Bro. What do you mean? God. I'm gonna open up a yo-yo store. Okay, I'm gonna sell all these yellows to the, <laughs> to the NPCs when I get back. <laughs> Yellows are honestly probably the best thing 
though, because uh, I've done a yo-yo only playthrough and I've dragged my friends into it. And honestly, kind of, I think, ruined Terraria for some people due to that, but you know. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember if it was that or the summoner playthrough. It was one of the two that I've ruined, ruined this game for people. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's because it's one of those things where the Yelets is are available as soon as you beat a mechanical boss. Mm. And like they're really, really powerful. And it's like it's one of those things it's one of those things that it's like super good good uh super good just due to the fact that like I said, it's whenever you defeat any mechanical boss, so you can use it on the other two. So it's as long as you can beat one uh. of them, you can you can you have it, the powered up version for the other two bosses, which is quite nice. You know what's kind of strange about this game that I just realized? What's that? Remember, we, we, we were playing Minecraft last night with some friends, and... You had brought up the fact that, like, people... don't like the Minecraft updates because it doesn't feel like Minecraft anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that can happen with Terraria. I feel like you can add anything into Terraria. And I was like, nope, still Terraria. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good, because then that means you can update and, like, you can keep updating and actually have your fan base like the game. But it also, to me, kind of feels like that means Terraria has less of an identity, but it still does. I don't think it has less of an identity. I just think that its, uh, its identity is a lot more, like, open. Open, yeah, than Minecraft, because Minecraft does have a certain way... Uh, it feels like, like, there's no, like, magic or anything like that. Terraria, like, there, there's magic, there's, like, there's a bunch of different types of weapons and all this, and it's, it's just a lot more open with the stuff that it adds. Yeah. Also, I got another, uh, uh, metal detector. Gotcha. And believe it or not, still zero, uh, Bezoars. I'm kind of surprised I'm only getting my first bone one now. Oh, I've also just realized I actually got all the life fruits we need. Oh, nice. Well, kind of. Getting two extra ones. Kind of. Getting two extra ones wouldn't be bad. I bet I did to throw into the shimmer for extra defense. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. I kind of forgot about that. I I got enough for us to go ahead and get the uh to get f to full health. I have not got it. I need two more to get us the uh, defense boost. Gotcha. I'm on blue. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't remember why I rejoined Blue after I, uh, I forgot you left, so when you asked, I got like really confused. <laughs> I was just like, yeah? Like, we talked about this, and I was like, alright. And then my game did the funkies. And decided to just not work. <laughs> I don't know if it was working, it just was annoying. No, thankfully my throat isn't burning anymore, so this is lovely. 
You have, you ever uh, swallow like pool of water with the chlorine in it, and then you're just your sinuses just start burning? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the feeling I had. Ooh, yike! Oh my god, it's already been thirty-five minutes. Oh really? Uh huh. Huh? What are you looking at? I mean, makes sense. There's a life fruit around here. Where? Oh, there. <laughs> Yes, you shall receive, I guess. It's too bad you can't make something like the heart lamp. Uh, with uh, life roots. Like, once you get all the upgrades that life roots can give you, it's just kind of... There's no use for them after the fact, I don't think. There are mods that actually do that, where they make uh, give you the ability to make life fruit lamps, but again, those are mods. That is actually one thing I don't think uh, redigit adding in would be redigit relogic redigits the guy, or, uh, but relogic adding into the game would be that bad of an idea. Hey, there we go. I finally got a Bezoar. <laughs> well, that's gonna be fun. Put it back home, too. You still there, by the way? Yeah. Alright. I'm assuming you saw what popped up in the chat. Wait, no, I didn't know what's up. Just, I fully zoned out. I noticed. Look at, uh, look, just look in the chat, you'll understand. And, the uh, like, game chat? Yeah, game chat. Oh. Oh, boy. Want me to come over? Uh, I mean, I'm not even there at the moment. I, I'd probably be there, uh, in a... I mean, will it still happen if we're not there? It, that doesn't go away. Gotcha. Yeah. So that'll, it'll be out spawn when we get back there. Alright. I'm gonna head back now. Oh. Alright. Uh, never mind, I won't. Uh, I'm... Whatever you want to head back. Well, I mean, now I'm good to head back because I I just grabbed the last light for it I needed. Oh, gotcha. Alright. Alright. Well. Up. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, here you go. Here's all your health. Oh, thank you. Alright, so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cheap. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Nice. Time's vibing. Out, oh, they have guns. Yep. I mean, they are pirates. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Also, I did. I did. I said this when you were zoned out, uh, but I did end up actually getting uh, a bezoar, so we have one of them now. Oh, nice. Oh wait, should, should I keep, uh, clothier voodoo dolls? Uh, I mean you can. Uh, you don't need to. I yeah, might as well. God, I'm just gonna break this and then come down here. Uh, be ready for Ghost oh. in a second, by the way. Gotcha. Ghost dead. Oh, by the way, here's, uh, here's this. Oh, thank you. I see that they're getting trapped in the hole under our house. Oh, are they? Oh, I guess you didn't need to make me this. 
Oh, you... Uh, you already filled up. Uh-huh. Oof. It's actually not that much down here. Like three. Well, it still is gonna add to the percentage, nonetheless. True. You technically also could use your uh, Nimbus rod and just set it outside like the one of the doors. Oh, that's actually a good idea. All right. Like if you, I was gonna say, I was gonna say it might be better to put it outside the left one because the right side does get stuck. But that is up to you. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I guess I don't get stuck. It just I was thinking about the ones that got stuck in the hole earlier. I gotcha. I also realized I probably should put one here. Uh, oh, 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 there. I guess. You technically could have just went above it. Oh, hi. Congratulations, you just got a chest for your efforts. Oh. My knee. I'm gonna be rich afterwards. I would love a uh, flying mount. Well, is it is there only the UFO for flying mounts? No, but there's a lucky coin. No, uh, there is. I know that the bee exists, but that's from Queen Bee. Uh, I don't know what other flying mounts there are. Oh, the Witch's Broom, but I think that's a Master Mode exclusive. Oh, is it? Yeah. Darn. Which we still gotta get you through Expert Mode in general. We gotta get... Technically, we could get both you and Logan. Oh, the... it's over. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Do yeah, we no... need to equip the, the lucky coin? Or do... Yeah, or it needs to be equipped. Be... Gonna be in the vanity slot. No. What can I trade out for this? I I'll mean, trade out the feral claws. Would no. it? Is it really worth it? <laughs> I I am gonna reforce itself. That's not what the lucky coin does. What does it do? Lucky coin is anytime you attack an anytime you hit an enemy, it drops coins. That's stupid. <laughs> you you're thinking of the discount card. Uh, you didn't want to keep any of the gold furniture, did you? I don't care. Gotcha. Do you want the web? Do you want the size feather? No. Do you want the web slinger? Ah, uh, sure. Donka. Yeah. Donkey. Sorry. Donkey. Alright, so we do actually have all the ingredients to make one of the, uh, Onk shields. Oh, really? Yeah, we just need to turn one of the Nazars and one of the blindfolds into their respective other ones, and then you'll be able to make it. Gotcha. Time for me to gamble. I'm out of regret this, aren't I? Hmm. I actually don't- I just want to check the, the 
damn it, before. I just got Celestial. I think before I had Furious. Uh, I'm just gonna reforge it again. I got Demonic. And I'm not going to play with Fate anymore. I think I that literally only went up. I don't have space for this. What was it? It's a painting. Mm hmm. I'm gonna sell all but two of these nature's gifts. Gotcha. We have 138 uh, points. 138 coins? Not coins, sorry, keys. That makes more sense. Oh, I don't know if you want this, but you can have it if you'd like it. Uh, I'll keep it for now. I, I just thought seeing as you're kind of the don't starve person out of the two of us. Yeah, fair enough. Would you like a keen magic dagger? No, thank you. A destroyer mask. Shrug. I've been keeping those in the chest, but that's about it. That's been chilling in my inventory for a while, apparently. Are you been keeping them? Uh, it's wherever we've been keeping the armor. <laughs> well, because it's not just the destroyer mask, it's just boss mask in general. Uh, I see. Alright. Because we've only fought the destroyer once. Yeah. No, we haven't. We've fought it multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you just say yeah then? Because I forgot. Honestly, when I asked that, I was expecting you to just go, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hope we have the ability to get the, uh... I, like, I think we should have the ability to spawn giant bats in. Let's uh, just have them spawn in naturally. Because they, they're in caverns. And you might know the issue with that one at the moment. Ah, uh, I see. I'm running back to the, the dun dungeon. Dungeon, yeah, I ran back to the jungle because uh, I actually just, if I can get one bezoar. By the way, I've killed 315 moss hornets. One in a hundred chance, by the way. <laughs> but uh, if I can get another bezoar, then I'm done here. And then I can start on other things. Gotcha. And if you get into Zar, uh, you can also go ahead and start doing other things. Or go grind for other things, if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Do. I'm not going to focus on getting the Uzi, even though the Uzi would be amazing. Uzi 9mm, sorry. Uh, but... What? <laughs> Nothing. I feel like that's everyone's... Like, if, if you know the reference... If you don't know the reference, we're old, but if you know the reference... Uh... I feel like that's just kind of like, neuron activation. 
Neuron activation. It is quite nice though because I don't now like now that I've gotten all the life roots I need I don't have to like keep search I could stay to one area basically. Cause I think it's the case for life roots as well. I know it's definitely the case for and terra bulbs, but you can't have like there's a specific amount of space around each that a, another one of them can't spawn. If that makes gotcha. sense. Yeah. I'm starting to debate on just upgrade or just going straight uh, yo yo for this. Because currently I can, no matter what, I can get kind of like the max melee armor. Like that's just a guarantee at this rate. Mm. And I've been, that's really all I've been using is the yo yo at the moment. I use the. Uh, range weapons whenever we're fighting bosses just to keep my distance a little bit because obviously just in my experiences with any game it's better to keep your distance to be right in front of the boss yeah. I, know, I know some people will disagree with that uh, because it's like if you keep your distance then you can't attack cough cough people that have mastered the art of dodging in dark souls but you know <laughs> uh I don't think if there's anything really to talk about. It's like we've already talked about all the updates uh, coming in 1.4.5, and I I legitimately don't know what I want to do with that. Because yes, it would be a good idea to actually stream uh, that. It might just be a good idea to just do a a full playthrough of Terraria again with 1.4.5 coming out. Yeah. Like, not really do any challenges or anything, but, like, the challenge might be a world seed or something along those lines. But other than, uh, nothing to change it too much. I'm not opposed to the idea of doing a Skyblock, uh, series on this channel at one point. But I also don't want, like, half the content on this channel to just become rare, and that's, like, the one thing I'm worried about. I say half the content on this channel. I, right now, currently, half the content on this channel is Terraria. <laughs> I only stream two times a week, and, and and one day is always Terraria so far. Has been for the past seven. Oh, there's the Uzi. Uh, who the next seven weeks? Next seven weeks. The last seven weeks. Imagine, getting a, imagine doing a gunslinger playthrough where you have to get every gun. Oh, gosh. 
that doesn't actually, it doesn't sound, it, like, it sounds worse than I think it actually is. I think if we're going for, like, number of items per class, I think summoner's probably least. And when I say number of items per class, it's gonna, I'm mainly talking about, it specifically has to say summon damage, range damage, melee damage, stuff like that. I think it would be summoner, then uh, gunslinger, then mage, then uh, melee. I think that's the order it'd have to go in. I might be horribly wrong, there might be some things I'm forgetting, but that's just kind of the way I've always thought it would be. Yeah, I might reforge the Uzi because it literally is only giving me, uh, the prefix just gives me knockback on the gun. Ah, gotcha. Imagine shooting an enemy so with a bullet it's so powerful it pushes them back. <laughs> that is like, that is with an Uzi no less, by the way. Like, that's the power reserved for, uh, snipers. I feel just because of how like how heavy the, the like how heavy those bolts are and how fast they have to go usually. Yeah. I guess the uh, I guess the fact that uh, I assume it's not going to be horribly too long before we get the uh, update for Terraria. Then that means I don't think so. That means that I'm going to be waiting on the other Terraria playthrough that I was planning on doing after this one. Yeah, the um. The update's been being teased for like a year now. I mean, that's usually that's usually how Terry works, though. Like they tease yeah. a lot. And while I'm not super active with the Terraria community, from what I've seen, the Terraria community is a lot more patient than the Minecraft community. <laughs> the Minecraft community had it their way; they would have. Five updates a year, <laughs> each with like ten different weapons. <laughs> Odd. If I remember correctly, Terraria is also half the price of Minecraft. I think Minecraft. I think Minecraft used to be twenty five dollars, but I think it now it's thirty. Actually, I think I remember like being like like twenty six dollars. I think exactly. yeah, I think that's what it was. When I got yeah, I think my I account. Remember, I remember uh, when, I Django, when I got it, I was like, why is it specifically 26? I do think it's 30 now because I try to justify the price with like a, oh, you're getting both versions of Minecraft. It would be a bedrock in Java. So yeah. Like, get out of here with that. I, uh... It's funny because I remember, I think I got my account for Minecraft at a Target, of all places. I think I got mine from Walmart, yeah. Yeah, because my, if, like, it was one of those things of like, oh yeah, uh, I was talking to my mom after when we were going shopping, I was like, oh yeah, my friend's been showing me this game and like, we played it for a little bit and you know, it was actually kind of fun and she's like, do you want me to get it for you? I was like, wait, really? <laughs> well, I remember I, 
Oh, sorry? No, go on. I was just gonna say, I remember I ended up, uh, I had to watch some YouTube videos and I got it on, and I also got it on Xbox, I think, at some point. But, uh, in seventh grade, there was a, like, an after school gaming club. And the teacher was very nice and he let us. The teacher essentially bought a Minecraft account for the after school thing, and as long as you didn't get on, like, a world together, everyone was able to be logged into that account. Um, so the teacher basically just let us all play Minecraft. Nice. And, um, and I remember afterwards I was like, what? I want to play this at home. And so, I, I think I literally was just like, hey, can I get this? My friends were like, yeah, yeah, sure. I, uh, <laughs> when I was back in high school, uh, one student in my, like, we had an engineering class back in high school. Mm -hmm. One student brought the files of Minecraft with them and just started downloading all of, on all the computers. <laughs> oh. Okay, not going back home for a while. I mean, that's fine because you're so I'm also going to desummon my summons. Where this are makes you? Us a l in, the, in the dungeon. Oh, wait, do the dungeon slimes count? I mean, probably. I mean, last time you said that all slimes count. Yeah, I didn't think of dungeon slimes, though. I mean, I can look to see. I'm gonna look it up because I'd rather you not torture yourself. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. Slime. I'm gonna look up slime rain and then I'm gonna control F dungeon slimes. And if it doesn't pop up, then it did not pop up. All right, cool. I didn't. Nope. Well, I mean, I'm. Give me a second. Uh, just like this is this. Since has been previously defeated, he will only. Only blue slimes, including those spawned from a slime statue and any of its variants that share the primary NPC ID, ID value of one count towards the event total. Green slime, pinky, baby slime, black slime, purple slime, red slime, yellow slime, and juggle slime. Alright, so dungeon slimes are safe. Yeah, dungeon slimes are safe. I have to be careful. <laughs> gotcha. I continue to zone out. You can continue watching your YouTube video. I mean, I also, I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble. Because jungle slimes don't spawn that often and I need to f defeat 150 of them. So... <laughs> I think I'm good. I'm not going, I'm just, I'll, st I'll still be careful, but... Which is funny, because it actually, uh, once a slime marine has been beaten, you know, like, once King Slime has been defeated, uh... Man, I just got coffee and a yellow from an enemy. Caffeine, caffeine, uh, <laughs> induced yo-yoing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh man the guy the trailer merchant really picked a bad day to come didn't he 2200 angry mouths <laughs> <laughs> oh lord I could blow the ground what I was like originally so Oh, yeah, uh, 
if the slime rain is initially defeated, it actually takes less slimes to spawn in the or to uh, spawn in King Slime the next time around. Oh, really? Yeah, it's halved uh, from 150 to 75. Yike. Which is strange because I thought it was, I thought it used to only be a hundred. Oh, actually, that might uh, that might just be uh, the lunar pillars. Because I'm pretty sure lunar pillars in normal mode you only have to be 100 enemies, though in uh, ex extra mode you have to beat 150. Oh well, I saw red. <laughs> Stream, I saw red. I'll be entirely honest. What? Jonah Slime. Oh gosh. It just went murdered. But uh Oh, there's the other Bezoar. Uh so I will actually go back. But now I need to head underground as soon as possible, so the slime's gonna get taken out. But this is actually even more dangerous than what I was doing before because I believe that more of the slime variants can spawn down here. So we're about to find out. Did you send me a message or was that someone else? I thought that you was a you. Gotcha. Here we have a rare instance where I'm actually out of torches, so I'm going to start lighting up these tunnels with bullets. <laughs> oh, that was, that was, that was a sentence. <laughs> what? It'll be like that one episode of uh, Doctor Who. It was a dark episode, don't get me wrong, but it was still an episode. There was a point in, uh, I forgot what episode exactly, but they, they were, I just shot the mother slime. Okay, I should not be lighting up the area with bullets. Uh, but there was an episode where they were in, they were basically trapped in a spaceship underground, or cornered in a spaceship underground by the Weeping Angels, right? Mm -hmm. And the doctor, they they were stuck because there was a door they had to open. And they couldn't open it uh, through the computer, but they could open it manually. Now, the issue with that was that to open it manually, they would have to turn off the power. The issue with turning off the power was the fact that the lights would go off, meaning that they wouldn't be able to see the angels... And you now see the issue. So to circumvent this, oh, wait, I think I've seen the, the clip. You have seen the clip. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, to circumvent this, uh, they had the because they had a military who was kind of supposed to keep an eye on River Song. Uh, yeah. the military basically fi kept firing their bullets to light up the room for like split seconds to stop to at least uh slow down the progress of the angels while they opened up the door yeah, the, there's so much interesting things that uh games can do with weeping angel type characters or just like media in general I don't know, it, it's such an interesting concept, and I really like it. Yeah. we. It, it's been a more common trend. Uh, like, as of late. Because, don't get me wrong, like, their games still used it. But it's been, like, every so often. Yeah. Uh, and then... Obviously, SCP's had one for a long while. Uh, 
newer games that have had the Weeping Angel effect. You've got uh, Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime with Miss Delight. You have the Iron Maiden from Content Warning. You have the Coil Heads from uh, Lethal Company. I don't play that many. I just killed another slime mob without thinking. Uh, <laughs> I I don't play a lot of horror games, so I don't can't think of it really anything else off the top of my head. Uh, so it, okay, so really I'm sorry, interesting I'm sorry, thing uh, about the because there was a like SCP is like its whole, whole own thing. It's basically like it's funny because I feel like there's like different tiers or not tiers like different like. <sighs> eras of of the scp foundation monster stuff well i was gonna say because there used to be originally creepypasta then it went on to scp and then i feel like now it's backwards uh yeah. where it's just like or it's just like one i said your favorite thing. word sorry what's up i said your favorite word <laughs> uh. um but you know, it's really interesting, and honestly, I, I, I really, I, I quite like it, and I hope that it's something that future generations can continue to, uh, to like, experience, because it is, it's just fun. Well, the thing is, uh, sorry, go on. No, you're fine, but I was, I was just gonna very quickly say, in the SCP game, uh, it had an interesting mechanic that I have not seen in another game do, uh, again, where, um, you had a blink meter. God. So, and it was SCP-173, but it's nicknamed Peanut. And, uh, I don't know why, but... If, if uh, I had if I had a nickel for every time an enemy in, an horror, in a quote-unquote horror game was named Pe nicknamed Peanut, I'd have two nickels. What else are you talking about? Uh, FNAF. Oh, Jimmy Neutron, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Or as one of our friends calls calls him a uh, trash shoot. Wait, it, uh, is, is that UCN trash shoot? He... What's up? Is that trash shoot? I thought trash shoot was regular. No, trash shoot is uh, scrap trap because of the fact of in UCN, oh, whenever he's coming through the vent, it really sounds like he's just falling down in garbage chute. <laughs> Uh, also, by the way, just before you go on, uh, another one that I forgot about was uh, that had the Weeping Angel effects. Security Breach, Endoskeletons. Right, yeah. Alright. Um, you know, it's, it's really... It, I, I really enjoy it uh, overall. And I... Um, and it was used really well with the Blink mechanic in the SCP game. A, a little bit of a frustrating way, but at the same time, it was it was really good from a like you had to you had to strategize opening doors essentially. Interesting, because uh, Peanut could be behind any door, pretty much. <laughs> I know. I mean, to be um, fair, yeah, just keep it on. He could be behind any door, so essentially, if you were to open a door and go into a room, and he happened to be there. But you weren't paying attention to your blink meter, and you essentially blink as you enter the room. You're just dead. I was about to say that is unfortunate, and it's the, very unfortunate. And I feel like this is spoken from personal experience, possibly. Uh, that has happened. Oh, but I, I, I gotta play that game again because I, I used, to, I played it back whenever I was like too chicken to actually like play through all, all of the horror games. Because my, my whole thing, uh, I was like, oh, I like playing horror games, but then, <laughs> but if I got too scared, I would just stop playing. I mean, fair. Uh, I'm a lot better with it now to where I'll actually, like, for the most part, I'll continue onwards. I still gotta play through Layers of Fear. I forgot Layers of Fear existed. Yeah. Which is funny, because I'm the only other person that was there for this. Um, that's gonna be... Interesting whenever I finally get around to that, but I'll and also another game. I I'm uh, 
I I know you know this guy, but <laughs> for context for anyone who's watching the stream, I'm I'm a pretty big fan of FNAF. Ooh, that's a, that's a bizarre. Um, Did you find and... another one? Yeah. Hey. And the, the only FNAF game that I have yet to play, I guess there's technically two. Please bring the stuff FNAF back, by the way. And P3, something. What's up? Please bring the stuff back, by the way. The stuff back. Yeah, like the gnome and the water candle. Oh, gotcha. Or bring it to where I am and we could start farming for things here. I can do that. Um, but, uh... Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, FNAF 4, Pizzeria Sim, which FNAF 4 is fair. We've done FNAF 4, and to be fair, I well, I may have not been... That game didn't scare me, and that's probably just because I couldn't hear anything. I could see things, I just couldn't hear anything. Yeah. But man, uh, were we playing the under uh, unfortunate circumstances. Oh, it was so funny, though. Um, I was in pain most of that recording. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about that crap. I had uh, fun, but I was like, ow. But, um... Yeah, no. It, it, the funny thing is that, that uh, that's a video on uh, my channel. My channel. Insert and, link uh, here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh the very unfortunate part about and by the and I, I wanna I wanna clarify whenever I say this, I'm not actually upset about this the slightest. Um it's just one of those things where it, it shows how important titling a YouTube video is and thumbnailing. But uh we did we Oh we I know where this the, is going. We did the concept of like multiple people playing uh, Final Fantasy Race 4. And then, pretty, I think like eight months later, a completely different channel did the, did the same thing, but the thumbnail was actually good. Uh, <laughs> and, um, but no, they, they, did, they did the same thing. And that video blew up, and I think they, they got like thousands of subscribers within a week. Um, the only thing is, I did end up subscribing to that channel, the only thing is, I, I kind of feel bad for them, because, uh, that video, like I said, got thousands of views, but ever since then, they, anytime they upload anything non-FNAF, uh, it does not do well at all. I mean, that is basically the algorithm. Yeah, but it, it just, it, it stinks because it, because, uh... It look, I think FNAF was a one-off, like, video idea on their channel, because going through their, their channel was mainly Nintendo stuff. That's so it, it, it would really stink having one thing that you don't really expect to do well, or whatever, be the thing that, uh, that gets your channel popular, because now you're stuck in doing something that you don't necessarily want. Yeah. I'm watching bats fly through blocks. This is not great. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's fine. Also, gay, 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 gay. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, we need... There's two ways we can do this. I said this before. We could do... Uh, We could do two of the trifle maps. Or two of the uh, fast clocks. They're both the opposite versions of each other. Uh, or we could do a combination of both. By what the you? way. What's up? Oh, sorry. No, continue. What, nah, what you're saying? No, nah, it's fine. Bruh. Uh, I was going to say, are we going to try to face the boss by the, uh, before stream ends? Uh, I mean, we actually can now because we've hit... Basically, I don't think there is a possible way for us to not get the uh hunk shield now gotcha heck, right. heck we can do it now if you wanted uh yeah let's go all right do we want to just throw ourselves at plateau and see how we do yeah all right <laughs> don't worry i'm just uh stick down here until you get to the area all right Cause
Because, yeah, we're literally just missing, uh... Whatever it's called, uh... Those two items, and like I said, one can be gotten through rays, which is literally just... You can get them from breaking altars, which is usually how I try and get them quickly. But you can also just go ahead and... Like... Uh, they'll spawn during the nights. Uh, and then, like I said, the bats, they just spawn in the cavern layer. I think as long as you have something for them to spawn on, they'll be good. Like this wraith, right here. Watch it not drop anything. Yep, there we go. Time to leave. So I never did end up actually saying what my other idea was for uh, the other Terraria stream, right? The one that I was going to do for, like, a backup in case you weren't able to make it. I don't think you ever did, no. Uh, we're, we're far in enough to this where I think I can. Uh, the idea... Also, I am at the Plantera Bulb. And I think we could just probably run down to the to that open area. Uh, here, I'll, I'll mark it on the map if the area I'm thinking of running into, if you want to head down there. Or, unless you want to just follow me follow me with uh, Plant Terra, seeing as your things can be hey, constantly you know what, con your things can be constantly attacking you while we're running down there. Yep. Alright, it's probably below us if I were to guess. Oh, it's just oh, actually no, it's to our right. right. Answer right here. I mean, if you want to, we can. I was kidding, but you know. Hello, or... ma'am. How you doing today? I mean, she's already down a fifth of her health. Oh my god. Oh, get her back. You're you're above. You're going above ground. She gets enraged. Thank you. All right, I am picking up those. All right. Yeah, we can get down. Oops. Take this. Uh -huh. how, 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 what, what am I? I, I think that's my only thing that I don't quite like about this boss right now. I don't know what I'm getting hit by. She shoots but I'm projectiles. At gotcha. Huh? <laughs> she's she she's always shot uh, seeds. I don't remember any of these things. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Time to seriously move. You gotta go down. There you go. Well, obviously you gotta go down. I meant to say you gotta go down to the platforms. I kind of forgot a word there. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. What's up? That would help. Also, don't touch her hooks. You will take more damage. We'll be fine. Yeah. There we go, and there's your pygmy staff. Uh, oh, is that my next summon item? Uh, I mean, you can use that. I don't know how good it is compared to the sanguine staff. Uh, I mean, you can look that up while we're going in. To, uh, while we're changing the, uh, world. I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You say that every time. Yeah, because we're just kind of playing Terraria, right? <laughs> hey, good lord. Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> oh, dang. Alright. You, you have left. I actually haven't opened up the, uh... I haven't set the windows to be... to... the proper things, I don't think. So let me swap this over to...
Interesting. Why won't you? Is it because I haven't clicked into you? Yeah, it's because I wasn't clicked into you. That makes sense. Uh, and then can I just turn you on? Yes, I can. All right. Who's ready? Go, keep, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, okay. <laughs> Double box is going to be really weird because that gets rid of the blocks. That gets rid of the temple. We don't even need to use the key. So, oh, meaning... Charge. Well, charge, but mean that also means that we have a limited amount of attempts to fight. Uh, to fight Golem, I believe. Oh, really? Well, because here, here's the thing. I'm getting rid of the temple blocks, meaning that the things that drop the, the, the cells won't spawn. Oh. Gotcha. So, now... Let me open this. Hello, everybody. Uh, we'll go into Crumbledia. Open it up. Crumbledia. I love the fact that you can see uh, the game down here on my son on stream. All right. We're going to hope this doesn't break things too much because what I'm worried about is the... I'll remember that. Uh, I'm worried about the altar. And I'm worried about the chest. Uh, if push comes to shove, I'll spawn the altar back in because we kind of need that. Yeah. And if push comes to shove after the fact, if we can't get cells, I will spawn in a few cells. Otherwise, I'm not doing anything else. Uh, so we need to get a brush. Uh, we need to do... Temple... Oh, no, it's it's called Liz Lizahar. Okay, what, what's the brick called? It's just something brick. Yeah, there you go. Uh, edit matching the mask. I've realized I've done this backwards. This is supposed to be... Why is it HZ? <laughs> Whatever. God, I'm fighting with this thing. Help. <laughs> yeah, this is just straight up air. This needs to be sky. This is edit matching. And this is also uh, for I guess it'd be forbidden. You are you ready? I'm gonna be. I'll be able to get most of the. Actually, if I do this, one click, it will be able to take out. Okay, it won't be able to take out the entire thing, but we'll be able to take out most of it. You ready? Gotcha. Yep. So now, uh, that being done, I just want to quickly check. Okay, the altar's still here, technically. And so are the chest. I don't know if... I think if you want to open up the chest, you're going to have to... Uh, well, you're going to have to basically... You can't place anything under it, is what I'm trying to get at. You have to actually, like... Just open it in the middle of the air, which I'm thinking we might want to buy the ice rod from the from the uh, wizard for that reason. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and do this to 
save it. So when that disappears, yep, there we go. And now I will exit out of this. However, now, shall we go ahead and see what happens if we fight uh, Queen Bee? Yes. See if we can get you your Witch Doctor so you can get the armor. I'm surprised that it's taken out, like, the... You can also join the servers back up. All right, one second. God. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll try fighting Queen Bee. Well, not even try. We'll fight Queen Bee. <laughs> Queen Bee's probably going to die within a few seconds. It is literally just more of a how long is it going to take over, to get over there than it is to actually fight the boss. And then honestly, after that, I feel like once we fight Queen Bee, I don't think there's any more worry of something important. As long as as long as we get to keep the jungle from fighting Queen Bee. There's not really a worry after that fact, because I there's nothing really locked behind anything else, in my opinion. Gotcha. And we and there's nothing because there's nothing locked behind Golem. There's nothing locked behind. Well, there is stuff locked behind Golem, but it's just fighting bosses. Legitimately. I think we actually can get this whole thing done and set away uh, within two more streams. I was thinking that as well. I'm well, thinking. Let's, let's, let's shoot for next stream. Oh, you're thinking next stream? I, I think that's more likely that it's going to be in two streams, so we'll, let's, let's make it interesting and let's say next stream. Because <laughs> my thought process was we have to. We gotta finish up grinding for the Ox Shield components, which that's already taken a while. Uh, we have to fight Golem. I personally would like to fight a Solar Eclipse. To try and get, I would as well. To try and get the yo-yo. Just, just realizing that I passed you. Yeah. Right, whatever, I'll just do this, I have plenty. Oh, there's a beehive. Plenty, I mean, I have eight more. There's a beehive right down here. Alright. No, it's like, oh. He'll be fine. Cool. I don't even know where my summons are. Oh, there. I think that the, uh, the bats are, are better. Uh, just because. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. summon them in right now if I were you. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to. Alright, well, bye. I just realized I got the Plantera trophy. Nice. Alright, here we go again. Let me just pull this back up. Round and round and ranch goes. Where she'll stop? Nobody knows. I can deal with clouds. Clouds is actually probably one of the nicest things on here at the moment. Nope, did not mean to do that. Y you don't get to see. <laughs> the stream doesn't get to see what this is like a land on. Yeah, I wish that would that I wish that cow. <laughs> that would be fitting. But yeah, all right. Now I need to open up. The edit once more. Should I get rid of the buildings too, or should I just... No, I'm just going to get rid of the clouds because there's still dirt up there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so... That is actually probably... Man, we... This, I know this is going to sound really stupid. This hasn't been as interesting as I expected. I think the most interesting thing that happened... 
was the hollow gate removed. Yeah. <laughs> the desert was strange. I will admit that. <laughs> but the one I feel like that had the most impact is definitely the, uh, was definitely the hollowed. All right, let me go ahead and turn this on. You got to change the properties of this. I hate the fact that every time you open up T-Edit again, like every time you reopen T-Edit, you have to, uh, re it's a different, kind of is a different uh, window. It just seems really strange. Oh, nope, I don't want to do file open. I want to do this. We need this to be set to air. That to be set to sky. Her, her. Uh, <laughs> this needs to be cloud. I'm going to be removing... Uh, I think... I don't think snow clouds spawn on their own, so I'm just going to be replacing regular clouds and their respective uh, walls. Oh, sorry, regular clouds and the uh, uh, rain clouds are the two things I'm going to be removing. Oh, that's funny. You can actually see all these are all the uh, floating islands on the map currently. <laughs> like this is like there's none o over to the far right. Oh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and change this to rain cloud blocks, and then just yep, watch them all disappear. Why is this still here? Oh, we're going to get pools of water falling into the world, I just realized. Oh, boy. Hmm. It'll be fine. The fact that I can literally see I have seven Discord messages just terrifies me slightly. I don't know what you could possibly mean. I never said they were from you. <laughs> Uh, probably for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it for this. Uh, now we got 20 more minutes. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and go try and get your uh, witch doctor in that time, feel free. Oh, right. I forgot about that. That's the whole reason we just fought the Queen <laughs> Bee. Listen, I haven't, I have I've, I've kind of been zoning in and out recently. Oh, good lord. I'm sorry. This is what I work with people. This is what I work with on a daily basis, actually. I don't know what you possibly mean. This is what I work with, I think, 24-7. Don't forget your summons in blue team. Thank you. Why not 23-7? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Oh, I, that confused me a lot because I was like, "Wait a minute, the the islands still have their uh their clouds." And no, they don't. It's just because we haven't I haven't updated my map. So if we fly up here now, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got a pl uh, Plantera trophy. Didn't you say that before we got before I did this? Listen, man. I heard. I don't remember what I have and have not said. <laughs> it's been. Five minutes. Head empty, okay? I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Does it matter what, what wood type I use? You have to build it in a jungle. I know that. No, it does not matter what wood type. It doesn't matter what block type. Gotcha. I, I literally just said it has to be in the jungle because that is the only construction. Constraint. Gotcha. So, I got a sugar glider. So, uh, this is actually where I need to decide some things. Uh, so, a few things actually. We can go into uh, the dungeon now, grab anything we feel we need from there, which... I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, the dungeon's open to us. The... Uh... 
like I said, your armor is now open to us. We don't have to fight the the uh, pumpkin moon now. We still can, but we don't have to. I legitimately think, though, that the best course of action currently is to go ahead and prep, basically prepare ourselves as if we were going to fight Moon Lord. Gotcha. Because I don't feel like any other preparation is going to be necessary to an extent after Golem. There is one thing I can think of, and that is it. Oh, what would that be? Martian Invasion. Yes. That's a really good idea. Uh, I'm going to check something really quick because I'm actually not too sure about something right now. And that is the fact of I can't remember if I put uh... I can't, I don't I can't remember if I put lunatic cults on the list. Gotcha. I will have to say, uh, once we get everything we need, uh, and everything. So like, once we get ready for Moon Lord, um, I think that it would be interesting if we just go fight a bunch of optional bosses and see how how much how much the world can be destroyed before we fight Moon Lord. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we could just take out the entirety of the world. Because Lun Lunatic Cultist... Oh, no, we can't, actually. <laughs> I just realized we can't. Because there are... There is one boss, currently, that is just completely impossible for us to fight. Oh? Uh, and that is the Empress of Light, because we don't have the hollowed uh, darn I, I, li I like her fight actually there's two is there two I mean technically there's two there is just two because I don't think we can spawn queen slime out, uh, outside of a hollowed either oh interesting okay. so we've we've fought the Cthulhu, we've done the world evil boss we've done queen bee skeletron haven't fought deer clops uh, we've be in the Wall of Flesh, obviously. Twins, Destroyer, Skeletron Prime, and Plantera. That leaves only two, sorry, uh, two hard mode, two pre hard mode bosses for us to fight. Gotcha. So there will, no matter what, there will be two blocks left over. Or two block types left over. Uh, so I guess, I'm going to assume you'd like me to wait for you it's just to go into the temple for any reason. Prefer that, but you don't gotta. I was just, I was thinking of going to check on the chest to even see if we can open them, at least. Because the thing with that is, if we can't, then it might be a good idea it's a good idea to figure it out now so that if it is an issue, I can go ahead and just fix that issue between streams. Gotcha. I will only look into one chest. That is my promise. I will ch Well, I will only go and look to see if I can get to one chest. Other than that, I'm not... I mean, actually, I mean, if you want to, go for it, because, I mean, I'm, I'm currently doing my own thing anyways. Yeah. And it would be more technically more productive if we were, if we were to. You're also not missing well, out as much because the temple doesn't exist anymore. Oh, uh, true. Like all the traps are there. <laughs> oh, please tell me he did not just move in here. Probably did. Use. Habita habita ha. No, move. You're not allowed here. How do I take him out? You go into housing, you, ju him you, out, you just right-click the, the banner. Oh, yeah, but he's gonna keep moving in, and I don't, I don't think the. Uh, and I'll just make. I'll, I'll just. The the witch doctor's gonna have a roommate. So they like each other. I think they do actually. Oh, I forgot that the yeah no, they, uh, the the very pictures actually have happiness levels opinions on each other. 
Yeah, the the dryad absolutely hates the golfer. Uh, why is that again? I don't know. I think the uh if I remember correctly, I think the the critter lady, I don't remember her name. The zoologist. Uh doesn't like the arms dealer. Interesting. Like, there are actually specific reasons for why people don't like each other in this universe, but I don't remember them. Like, happiness I've... levels is, like, one of the one things I just don't know. I find that interesting. It's like, uh, ba-da-ba. No. Uh, ba -da -ba. I hope I don't have to just keep building up houses. Now I have to be very careful around here. Uh, leave me alone. This is actually really annoying. <laughs> God, stop existing. So if I, can I seriously, okay, I can't place torches here. God. I just need to be off screen, right? What? All right, the, the housing just needs to be off screen, right? For them to, well, they can move in, like they can move into the world with the uh, housing being on screen. They just won't move in into the house like physically oh, if it's on screen also yeah we can open up chest okay nice not far enough into the forest for this right or forest no uh mm -hmm. jungle I mean, is it, does it have the jungle background? Because, like, the background will change from forest it's, to jungle. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Music? You have music turned off, don't you? Yeah, okay. No. Uh, it, 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 is, it, it is the jungle background, I believe. Alright. The jungle background is just a bunch of trees, right? Tops. I mean, don't look like the jungle trees, but yeah. Because the thing is, that's also what the forest is. Just a bunch of tree tops. You know, give me a second. Yes, this is the jungle. Alright. Oh, good luck. I might as well just build more houses. I mean, you can, because technically there is another NPC that can move in. Knowing your luck. Yeah. So yeah, if we try to finish uh, this series next stream, we are definitely going to have to kick everything into high gear. 
I feel at least. I mean, fair. I mean, I, I was somewhat joking, like, I would think it, it, it would be interesting to try to finish it up next week, however, I also don't want to make this less fun or less entertaining. That's fair. But also, yep, there's the, <laughs> there's the NPC I was talking you about. You suck. And now you gotta wait for tomorrow to roll around. Oh yeah, yeah NPCs can't move in during the night, can they? Nope. Um, I'll barely respect their own sleep schedules. Uh, but I was also thinking that the having two more streams would fit a little bit better due to the fact of uh, the new schedule change. Mm -hmm. Because if we do, so, can I click the sundial? I mean, yeah, you can if you want. Oh, it was a, oh, it was a lantern night. Well... That... Th those have increased locks, don't... Like, doesn't it? Yes, I think night. so. Ah, uh, Kinda wish I didn't do that now. Oh, well. But because of the uh, because of the schedule thing, because I have the three games lined up, and I only have three games lined up due to the fact that we we're still doing Terraria, it would kind of land pretty well because if we have this week and then two more streams after that, it will literally cover all three games. I also... Mimic, you are not worth chasing after. I'm sorry. But, uh... I do also think that... Or hope... That the new update comes out. Because then I'd be entirely... Down to throw... Spray it into the, uh... I usually don't like doing... Uh, series back to back anymore. I did that with uh, Minecraft, but that's just because Minecraft is kind of like the staple of this channel. Uh, mm -hmm. But I would be entirely fine throwing it through immediately back into the ring with everything else due to the fact of like if the update came out, then it'd be a, a series in its own right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just my uh, my take on everything that's going on, but whatever happens, happens. Are you in the big pit? What? No, never mind. That was an accident, but how? What's up? I accidentally hit a piece of silt and just slammed a bunch of it down on me. Because, like, there's so much I want to do with the tour. Like, there, I say there's so much. There's two things at the moment I really want to do on the channel with the tour updates, like, coming out. One of which is just being a regular playthrough uh, to go through and see what the new content has to offer. Yeah. Which, obviously, I would be fine if you joined me for that. There's the Witch Doctor. Uh, nice. Obviously, I'd be fine cool. if you wanted me to join me for that. But then, as well, I also want to do an actual Skyblock map. Like, the fact that they are introducing Skyblock to this 
Yeah, honestly, there's there's like a ton of different stuff. Uh, th there's gonna be so much like challenge content. It, it's gonna like be able to be done, and if you don't do it on your channel, I'm gonna roll mine. Oof, all right. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. No, please. What? We'll see in a moment. Uh oh. What? <laughs> Where the witch doctor is? Oh, I, I, I haven't even checked where the witch doctor is. The stupid thing that will do for a bit. Also, you say I'll see it in a second. We are going to have to wrap up sure, shortly, by the way. We've no, please bit. don't. We've got four minutes. Give me a moment. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this took so long to get down here. <laughs> I I flew past you twice, I think. <laughs> so I started to panic. <laughs> it is so difficult to control. I can't get it out down here. Oh my god. What's up? You. Did I do something wrong? You call me weirdly determined. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Also, on my way down here, I almost fell into lava. <laughs> <laughs> that would have sucked. One second. Yeah, that, that, this is why I was like, I will check it. I will check out the witch doctor in a moment. I'm stuck. I know what- I'm just going down. Sky help. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm back. Oh, hello. Uh, I can just right? hear it in the background. Where are you? <laughs> I'm trying to get back up to you. Hi. <laughs> I switched to the control. All right, this is called the Cole's way of ending the stream. We... Uh, wait, 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 come over. Then I get shot first. All right. Come away. Yep. Uh, I guess I'll just teleport back to base and. No lie. What's up? It took me so long. <laughs> You're something sometimes. I have done nothing wrong. I am innocent. No, you aren't. Do we need the beacon? gun? No. But, alright, well, Cole's doing that. I'll do the outro. So, thank you everybody for watching. I'm glad we actually got some good progress in. We are in the home stretch, which is weird to say. It's always weird to say in anything, to be honest. But, yeah, we are almost there. So, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I clicked out the... There we go. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Thank you all for watching. Uh, obviously, we'll be back on Thursday with our new game for the series idea. And then we'll be back next week and the week after this for terraria and again hopefully we'll hopefully we'll be done soon i've been enjoying i've been enjoying playing through this what's up i don't know any i'm just talking to myself gotcha. i've been enjoying i've been enjoying this uh play through a lot even though it hasn't really made much of an impact it's just been kind of strange yeah all right thank you all for watching i hope you guys take care is that gold it's a goldfish Continue. Take care, have a great day, and I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Alright. Bye bye.